Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm gonna to react to why is everyone leaving California? Now, I've heard a lot about this. You know, I've heard that a lot of uh, celebrities, a lot of businesses, a lot of YouTubers have uh, left California. Um, and why, why is that? You know, from what I know about LA, like I've got a couple of mates who uh, recently spent a few months there. They tell me that it's really, really expensive to live there, really expensive. And they say that the homeless situation is out of control. You know, I, I imagine myself, if I lived in a city where it was really, really expensive, like even more expensive than, than, than London, and I knew that I could have a similar quality of life in another city, and it was way cheaper, I'd probably leave too. And also, you know, you wanna feel safe in, in, in your city. And uh, yeah, I don't know, this video I'm hoping, like I, I really looked for an unbiased video, like a video that's just gonna give me the facts, like tell the story of what's actually going on. And uh, I'm hoping this one uh, lives up to expectations. And also guys, if you live in California or if you've recently left or you've moved to, moved to California, let me know your thoughts. I'd really, really be interested in, in hearing your experiences. So yeah, let's do it. People are just bailing. There's a mass exodus out of California right now. Mm. California, once called the Golden State, is known for its Hollywood stars, amazing beaches, and great year-round weather. Mm -hmm. With beautiful topography. Oh, that, is, that was a lovely shot. Oh my God, look at that sunset. Topography, all sorts of cultures and great food. California seems like a perfect place to live. However, in recent years, there has been a mass exodus of people leaving the state. Hmm. Since 2015, California has been losing more than 100,000 people each year who have moved wow. to other states. And every so single long. year, it appears more and more people are leaving. Joe Rogan, Graham Stephen, Kanye West, and hundreds of thousands of other people have begun leaving the state. So you may be asking yourself, why does everyone seem to be leaving? I think the high cost of living is probably a driving factor. Well, the short answer is, it's complicated. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? Jeez. Part 1. Trouble in the Golden State. Over the past few years, the quality of living in California has dropped significantly. Overpopulation and extreme levels of poverty are concerns for everybody in California. Mm. According to the US Census Bureau, California's poverty rate of 18.2% is the second worst in the country, only exceeded by Washington. Hold on, so that means that 18.2% of the people that live in California are classified as poor or are living in poverty. One fifth, that's a lot. Washington. And the number's probably higher than that, to be honest, because I imagine there's a lot of people that didn't take the census, didn't, you know, <laughs> didn't fill in the form. DC. In other words, nearly one in every five people living in California falls below the poverty rate. Wow. As a result, California's major urban hubs, such as Los Angeles and San Francisco, have continued to face some of the worst homelessness oh problems God. in the United States. And this has gone on to impact the Golden State in several ways. San Francisco has always been known as one of the main hubs for hosting national company conferences. However, due to a rise in poor street conditions, many companies that oh were even originally God. founded in California have moved their conferences out of the state. In 2019, Oracle moved their Open World Conference, which generated $64 million in revenue, to Las Vegas, Nevada. For people choosing whether to continue living and working in the Golden State, the homelessness problem continues to be a topic of Jeez, discussion. Man. On top of- Yeah, I've heard that Skid Row, like that's what they call the homeless part of, of LA, right? I think it's called Skid Row. Apparently it's like got thousands and thousands of people, you know, just like putting up tents and stuff on the sidewalks. And it's just, so you can't really walk like down there, like, if I wanted to go and see what Skid Row looked like, could, is, would it be safe for me? I, I imagine probably not, right? ...of the major homelessness problem, 
California currently has a population of over 39 million people. Wow, that's huge. More than the entire country of that's Canada. That's insane. With populations of over 18 million in the greater Los Angeles Dense area population. and 7 million in the greater San Francisco area, this has led to much longer commute times in traffic. comparison to other US cities. Yeah. Having heavy traffic adds up in an average work week and can be seen as a major factor impacting the quality of living for millions of people. Oh my god, this is just gridlock. Ugh. Like how much, how long does it take to take maybe a five mile drive in, you know, central LA? Like here, a five mile drive, even with traffic, you're probably looking at maybe five miles maximum, 25 minutes to half an hour. And that's in really big traffic. While current events have made this issue of traffic less of a factor in the short term, over the next several years, this problem will likely grow as an issue facing the Golden State. In addition to the reasons stated above, several parts of California also face the risk of natural disasters, yeah. mainly wildfires earthquakes. and earthquakes. Yeah. While wildfires are less oh of a risk in metro cities, they have been seen to be on the rise and greatly impacting suburban counties, forcing many people to evacuate. Earthquakes, on the other hand, are less of a risk factor, but still are worth mentioning. Overall, a growing homelessness problem and terrible traffic times mm. alongside several wildfires has significantly decreased the quality of living offered. Although the benefits of living in California may still beat out this decreased quality of living, this is far from the only reason people are packing their bags. Part 2. Paying the, taxes. Paying the piper. Right, taxes. With the quality of living dropping in California, this has also raised another growing issue for many people, namely the exuberant costs to live in the Golden State. California has one of the highest tax burdens on its citizens in the United States. For wealthy residents such as Joe Rogan, the state income tax rate could be as high as 13.3% annually. For him, a move to Texas. Hold on a minute, but 13.3%, is that the only tax he would pay? Or is there an additional, is there like, are there federal taxes and state taxes? Like, how does it work? Like, if you make a hundred grand in LA and you live in LA, how much would you pay, like, in taxes? Someone please, like, let me know. Because here, if you make a hundred grand here in taxes and national health service contributions, everything, you're probably going to pay at least thir about 30,000 pounds in tax. So you probably get to keep about 65 to 70% of that. This, which has no state income tax, could save him millions of dollars from his $100 million Spotify deal alone. However, it's not just the rich and famous who are leaving California to avoid taxation, but people in the lower and middle class are leaving too, in large part due to the housing costs. According to a nationwide apartment company, the average rent in California is $1,420 per month. By comparison, in Texas, the average rent is only $917 per wow, month. quite a bit less. With such strong price differences, it's little wonder many are packing up and heading east. Go but I bet Texas prices have gone way up as, as well, right? Because of the people leaving California. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if the Texan, you know, house, house market has just skyrocketed. Let me know. And beyond just rent, there are the prices of purchasing a home. The median cost of a home in California is upwards of $500,000, which is more than double the median home cost of $226,000 nationally. On top of high taxes and housing costs, Californian cities can also be more expensive in other ways. Mm. With higher than average commute times to work, and California gas prices being a dollar higher oh, than the national from every average, angle. high gas costs are just another example of what could be avoided by leaving the state. For some, these higher costs are worth it for the benefits that come from living in California. However, this may change. Compelling Part three, alternatives. Compelling alternatives. While it remains unclear when California will solve these problems, many people have begun looking to other states that are compelling and don't seem to be having these same issues. The first state that has seen a spike in people moving in from California Texas, right? is the state of Nevada. Nevada, because it's just the below, The so-called California exodus has made Nevada the fastest growing state in America for a second year in a row, 
and according to current census data, ex-Californians now represent a fairly high percentage of Nevada's population, with nearly 100,000 Californians emigrating to Las Vegas in 2019 alone. <laughs> Unlike California, Nevada has no state income tax and much cheaper housing prices. Why pay $1,200 per month for an outdated one-bedroom apartment in South Los Angeles, when for the same price, you could live in a newly built three-bedroom townhouse in a middle-class suburb just outside of Las Vegas? I mean, yeah, if there's nothing tying you to, to, to California, yeah, why wouldn't you move? Like, why wouldn't you? Unless, uh, unless you can comfortably, comfortably afford, you know, to pay the California Nevada prices. is, after all, known as the state of second chances, where they say outcasts can succeed and misfits can rebound. For many Californians, not having to worry anymore about wildfires, traffic jams, rent increases, gas taxes, or rampant homelessness, makes moving to Nevada seem like an easy decision. Apart from Nevada, another state that has seen a spike of Californians moving in is the state of Texas. Yeah. In 2019, Half a million moved to the Lone Star State. What? Hold on a minute. Half a million Californians in one year moved to Texas. 2019, half a million moved to the Lone that Star State. That is insane. That While is a lot of people. While taxes in California are among the highest in the United States, both personal and corporate income taxes are non-existent in Texas. While California still has the largest economy in all of the United States, Texas is the second largest, and the capital city of Austin has had numerous large tech companies move in, such as Google and Apple. Similar to Nevada, one of the main reasons why Californians are choosing to move to Texas is due to the lower cost of living. For many people, being able to afford a house in California is unattainable. However, in Texas, a house can be bought at a fraction of the cost. For now. Like, with all the people moving there, prices are just going to go one way. Alongside Nevada and Texas, Florida, Arizona, and Colorado have all seen an increase in ex-Californians moving into their states in hopes of a better quality of life at a cheaper price tag. With the economic uncertainty brought forward in 2020, and people spending a lot more time at home, now has become the perfect time for people considering relocating or settling down. Mm. So with all of this being said, where exactly can California go from here? Is the state doomed to a mass exodus, or will California find a path to improvement? Why not just lower the cost of living in whatever way you can? You know, like, make it possible for the everyday person to have a, a good quality of life there. The, the solution seems pretty simple to me. You know, I, I can get why they wouldn't want to lower taxes because it's going to affect the budget. It's going to affect the state budget. But if everyone's leaving, you know, you're not going to have any any people left at some point. Over the next few years. This place is going to oh. sink. Watch, <clears throat> as soon as I leave. Part four, the future of California. What do you guys think? Like how best, you know, can California turn things around? Like, what would you do if you were like, if you had complete control over California's future? How would you turn things around? With an increase in companies allowing their employees to work remotely, this has made the issue of heavy traffic less of an issue. With the technology mega hub of Silicon Valley and the film industry mega hub of Hollywood, California is likely to continue to see economic growth in the future. Even though California's population is still growing, its population growth rate has it's dropped slowing. to its lowest percentage since 1900. The Golden State still has a chance for revival in the next few years, if the issues surrounding quality of living and high cost of living become less dire. However, if the state is unable to address any of these issues and they continue to get worse, emigration out of the state will continue to rise in the near term. The most likely case is that it will take years to reverse the effects of the current problems and begin making forward progress on them. While California is seeing a large amount of people leave or threaten to leave the state, realistically, California still has enough economic output from its millions of residents that this will hardly matter in the short term. Mm. Seeing notable celebrities like Joe Rogan and Elon Musk talk bad about the Golden State will certainly have many people think twice before choosing to move to it. In the past five years, 
five million people have left California, mm. moving to places like Nevada, Florida, and Texas. California, which has long been a thriving state, is starting to see many long-time residents move out. According to a UC Berkeley poll, half of voters in California have considered wow. leaving. For those seeking to retire early, or find a better quality of living and work-life balance, leaving the state might make the most sense. Perhaps in a couple of decades this may all change, and it might be worth considering moving back to the Golden State. Of course, once you know, again. things might turn around. Thanks for watching. Really interesting. If you enjoyed- Super interesting video. Really, uh, really uh, answered a lot of my questions. <sighs> yeah, I wonder what the future does hold, because at some point, if the numbers of people leaving reaches a, a certain amount, the people in charge, they, they have to do something. They have to reduce the uh, the cost of living there at some point. I know some things are out of their control. You know, the cost of living worldwide is going up in pretty much every nation. The cost of food, the cost of, uh, of gas, everything has gone up. But there are certain things that you can control, perhaps, you know, taxes, uh, you know, all forms of tax, so property tax, uh, income tax, you know, state tax, anything, you know, that's within your control, they should probably do. They probably just haven't reached a point where it's serious enough for them to take action yet. You know, if it does reach that point, I'm sure things will get done because you don't want it to become, you don't want it to become like a death spiral where no matter what you do, it's just heading downwards. But yeah, let me know, Californians, let me know if you guys have ever thought about leaving, if you have left, you know, why you made that decision. Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.